So first things first, how do you hold the drumsticks? It's pretty simple really. Imagine if I was handing the drumstick to you, just like this, straight up. You want to, it's almost like you're going in for a handshake. You grab the stick, just like this. Okay, when I grip it, my thumb's on one side, my other four fingers are on the other side. When I'm playing, I want to have a loose grip, and you can see how I'm using this knuckle here as like a lever point or a fulcrum for that movement of the drumstick. Okay, all this movement is really coming from my wrist and fingers, okay? I shouldn't be trying to use my whole arm to do this. Okay, just wrist and fingers. This alone is a good thing to try and practice, especially when you're first starting out. You may find that the stick starts to slide in your hand. So even just practicing finding that fulcrum can be really helpful. Now let's translate it to hitting the drum head. When you hit, you want to think about a throw and a catch sort of movement, okay? And still using that fulcrum here, so I throw and catch. All right. If I'm using a really tight grip, I can't get that fluid movement, and you can probably hear that second little drum roll sound in there. Okay, not really how you'd want to do a drum roll eventually, and it gives you less control over it. So here's an example. This is one of the basic rudiments of drumming. It's called a paradiddle. You listen to me play it with the loose grip, and then I'll show you how it sounds if I hold this as tight as I can. All right. All right, now I'm gonna try it as hard as I can. Okay, can you see the difference? My whole body tenses up. I don't have the same control. Those beats are kind of moving around as opposed to staying straight and consistent. It's a big difference and really something that can take some practice in the beginning. That's something to practice just starting out. Like I said, even just this can be helpful, just practicing that movement. Then when you translate it onto actually hitting the drum head or a practice pad, just think about that throw and catch. Another good thing to get into the habit with right away is thinking about trying to hit the center of the drum head. The more you get into that habit, the better it's gonna sound when you're playing, the more accurate you're going to be. If you just hit anywhere on that drum head, once you start playing on a full set, you're gonna be less accurate and you may start hitting the rims of the drums and things. So if you can really get used to finding that center of the drum, it's not only gonna sound better, but it will be more accurate in your playing. All right, so main takeaway from this lesson, I want you to think about good loose grip when you're playing. Start practicing these movements, that kind of flick of the wrist, and then let's translate it onto the practice pad and the drum head. Good throw and catch. Thinking about hitting that center of the drum head. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be sure that you are notified whenever I put up new videos. You can also support me on Patreon. Even a small donation would help me out tremendously. I will put the link below. And finally, if there is anything you would like me to teach, play, discuss, or whatever, let me know in the comments. Good luck practicing, and I will see you next time.